the intersection up ahead is evidently the location of the old Shady Hill Station. There was a Shady Hill Nursery at one time, maybe it still exists. <coughs> On the driveway to the Bedford Water Department, this pave thing I'm walking on was just plunked down right on top of the old rail bed. This intersection connects to 62, still in Bedford. Interesting old stonework building. Let's see if we can spot the Shady Hill Station area. Oh yeah, there's 62. I remember it well. We'll be running into it again. This is Hartwell Road or something. Hartwell Street. Bedford has a lot of Hartwells. Oh yeah, this is now New England Nurseries. So it still is a working nursery. This is popular with joggers. This must be the old Shady Hill Station area. Still haven't seen the pile of abandoned phone poles. Maybe they got hauled away. Yep, place sure is popular with the joggers. Ah, old railroad tie around it. There it is. Ghost. Who knows what old toxic crap is underneath this bed? Years of crap spewing trains. stretches ever ahead. Ah, another odd little intersection. Probably old access road to the nursery. You can see piles of excavation tailings. Another little access to suburbia. Looks like a few McMansions. 
cheek by jowl with the old nursery zone. Still haven't spotted those abandoned telephone poles. Being conquered before we know it. We've made it to the whistle post. This was a signal to the old railroad guys that they had to blow the whistle for a crossing up ahead. Quaint bit of railroad infrastructure. Now we're on another fill section. Could we be near 62? I have a feeling we are. You can tell by the sound of the highway. <clears throat> Hanska makes quite a racket around here. Lots of helicopters. Whatever are they doing? No, oh, this is a fairly complicated fill. Oh yeah, there's 62. Ah, kind of a wetland down there. And here you have the parking lot. Where we emerge. And a somewhat shabby kiosk.